Peony bees are the heart of your plant. This is because they are often the most trusted representation of the physical asset. Imagine if your PNIDs could be the digital roadmap for your facility, connected to information about the assets and that information connected to other information. This would help solve the challenge that many owners have with their data residing in disconnected silos across the plant. This could free up your employees to work more on things that matter, like PSM, reliability, and optimization versus trying to find information that they need to work on those items. Here's an example of a PNID. This is a non-intelligent PNID. Zoom in. You can see that the red text has been extracted using SDA operations hexagon PPNM software. You can see we have line tags, instrument tags, mechanical equipment tags. We also have extracted the PNID names on the off-page connectors. What this allows the software to do is to connect up PNIDs together so that users can follow one line from this PNID back to the starting line on this PNID with one click. If we scroll down to a pump, you can also see that some of the pump details have been extracted as data and stored. If we select the pump tag name, you can get to some of these details by clicking on this, this box with different tabs. This information is typically stored in the silos across your plant, whether it's your unit index of tags, your maintenance system, or your inspection system. It's duplicated and sometimes it's always not consistent among those different systems. In addition to containing information and details about this pump, it's also connected to other information. If I navigate to the info map, you'll see that this pump has three piping records, two mechanical records, and two process um, documents that are related to it. By one to two clicks, you could be at that document and open it. On the right side, you can see other information that it's connected to that are not documents. For example, this is connected to low pressure condensate. This system was extracted from the line number from the PNID and we were able to create a hierarchy for all your systems to relate and classify your tags. This tag is not always called 77-P. On the PNID, it's represented by P-7703. Therefore, we related it to an alias tag. You may see this tag one of two different ways, but it's the same record. It's also related to models, disciplines, units, areas, and classification. If we were having problems with this pump, operational problems, the two mechanical documents that we're most likely going to want to find pretty quickly before we got in the field to assess the situation is the data sheet and the pump curve. The data sheet and the pump curve can be very challenging to find sometimes. Sometimes you have to ha go to the engineering files and flip through them. You have to call the engineer. You may even have to call the vendor of the EPC that did the project. Sometimes you never find it. So on the, on the data sheet, there's information here that helps you use and um, interpret the pump curve. Imagine if the data sheet and the pump curve were available to you in the field. So you grab your PPE, you grab your tablet, you go out into the field, you open the data sheet, you open the pump curve, you look down at the discharge pressure, you look at the flow, you have all the indications of where it's currently operating, and you can plot it against what it was designed to do right there. That gets you quicker troubleshooting for those pump operations versus the traditional find all your information, then take it out into the field. That time period when you're finding the information is when your unit is at most risk for going down and any unreliability event or outage causes a lot bigger risk that could um, that are there for the unit. Let's say that this pump was identified as a bad actor. The first thing you're going to want to know is how many of these same pump models do I have in other plants or units at my site. So if you navigate from the tag to the model, you can see that there's seven, six other tags related. That means that these are the six tags of the same model that you have on site. So this allows you to not spend time trying to construct the list of pumps and find out. You can start taking action. You can adjust the PM program immediately. You can put mitigations in place that are also needed. If we go back to the PNID, you can easily navigate backwards. As you mature your um, plant information and build out your smart digital asset, you'll eventually manage a 3D model. The 3D model really can affect the way that people execute their day-to-day -day jobs and modernize the processes for the future. From the PNID, if you click on that same pump, 
we go over here, we can do view item and drawing. This allows you to, to jump to any drawing that the, the pump may be referenced in. For this example, I'm going to pick the, pan the 3D model. What it'll do is on any drawing it's in, it will open and it will zoom straight in into that um, equipment of interest. If you look, you can zoom around. You can um, select other equipment. If I go right here and select this, this is actually the 7703A, and this is the B pump that I was on on the PNID. If I select this and I can show you the details, this is the same details that we had looked at in the PNID. It's not being duplicated, it's just allowing you to access it whether you're in the PNID, whatever drawing you're in for that record. Another cool feature that you have is a lot of times in, in preparation for maintenance activities you need to take measurements or if you're creating isometrics. You can come in here and you can select a point and select another bottom point and it can take measurements for you so that you don't actually have to go to the field to, to take the measurements. So as you, as you mature your information and build out your smart digital asset, remember that you have information today, such as non-intelligent PNIDs that can be connected up with other information. This can be your entry point into your smart digital asset. And as you build it out further, you can start to use it to affect the processes and how people execute their daily activities at your plant. Thank you.